G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. Now, today is a little bit of a beginning of a sub-series here on the channel about how do you do photography better? How do you do it more efficiently? Especially if you're a streetscape or cityscape photographer like I am. One of the biggest issues for me is, is when the light is right, how do you get around fast enough to all the different places that you think might give you the best images? And how do you do it quickly, efficiently, jump on, jump off? Also, how do we get from here and then back? Just in a snap. Well, that was a lovely segue. I'm gonna show you how. And right there, that's the clue. And we're here, and just like that, what an amazing segue. Now, a segue is something that we use in the documentary, film, television, radio business to transition from one subject to the next. In this case, as we can see here, I'm being a little bit cheeky because this is a segue from one place to another, from one studio here to the city studio. And I've done this by way of the awesomely cool Segway scooter. Now, I've had my eye on one of these for, I don't know, pretty much since they came out, since the fantastic channel iPhone Do, I love iPhone Do, did an amazing video about this. I've been watching his channel for, I don't know, as long as I can remember, five, seven years. And from then on, I thought this would be a super way to be able to commute. But also, I have another usage for it, which is of relevance to all of us. So firstly, I wanna talk about the commute. So my commute is 12 and a half kilometers, around about seven miles, something like that. And one of the biggest problems I have coming into this city is once you get closer, as you get closer, the traffic gets worse. That's problem number one. Problem number two, parking. Now parking, I can get for 20 to $30 a day if I get in before 9.30 in the morning. But if I don't, it can cost up to $80 just to park for the day. Crazy. This here, this allows me to park outside of the city about seven or eight kilometers away where I'm in the suburbs. There's no cost to parking. I jump on this and I can be from my vehicle to the city in 20 minutes. That's what I've just done. My full commute time was 35 minutes or even closer to 30 minutes which is absolutely amazing. I'm not paying for half of that fuel and I'm not paying for parking and I do not get stuck in any traffic. So that is reason number one and it's absolutely awesome. Now something that I've had to do there is optimize the gear that I'm carrying so that I can come in here and shoot. And that is something that we can talk about in another video. How am I optimizing my gear? Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. The second reason that the Segway is so awesome to me is the fact that it is an amazing platform for my style of photography. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is I'm a streetscape and cityscape photographer. And what I do is all about the light, the atmosphere, the weather. So when the time is right, when the time strikes, I've got to go for it. And I've got to be as plentiful with my photography as I can be when that's all coming together when that all collides into an amazing cauldron of photographic and lighting magnificence. So I have to move. Now for the first 30 odd years, 35 years that I've been doing this streetscape photography, I've done it mostly on foot. I used to do it on bicycle, uh, but I do it mostly on foot. So I'll drive to an area and then I will walk on foot for two, three, four, five hours around the area following my nose. Now that's fantastic, but what this allows for is very fast transition between locations. When walking with a lot of camera gear, you probably do four or five kilometers per hour. This thing can do 25 and I can carry all my gear. Here I have a satchel bag, a courier bag, which can hold two cameras, two lenses. It's amazing. I've had this thing for 20 years. These bags are bulletproof. So I wear this over my shoulder and then I strap it up using this to make sure it doesn't move. But what's amazing about this, and I'm gonna get a few more of these, this is peak design. We'll do a whole video about this, is I can just lock my camera in here 
And there it is. I'm still riding, I can do what I want. I jump off the scooter, I see something, I jump off the scooter. I just have to click this, out it comes, and I'm shooting in like two seconds. We are going, bang, bang, bang. And then we can move again. And I can move around super fast, get what I wanna get, and this is just an amazing kit. Now I can hear some of you saying already, scooter, dangerous. Sure, of course, life is like that. I've seen people do things 1,000 times more dangerous to get photographs, whether it's climbing cliffs, mountains, climbing to the top of cranes, holy cow, some people do that sort of stuff. This, uh, this rates on a one out of a thousand in levels of danger and so on and so forth. So the Segway is just an absolutely amazing platform for me to be able to zip around my location of choice, being able to chase the light. You can just step on and off it. The problem with a bicycle is they're a bit harder to get on and off and just leave. This is amazing. I'm going to start a whole set of videos just showing how this is working for me and something that you can do too if you are a city or streetscape photographer, if you live in a city like mine which has a mix of small, large, medium streets. It also, we also have a lot of bike lanes here which helps to make something like this safe. Obviously, you do this at your own risk, of course we have to say that, and of course always wear a helmet, I have my helmet here somewhere and be safe, be super safe. These things are speed limited to 25 kilometers per hour. It's pretty sedate. I think you could jump off and run to a stop. So this is the Segway. I look forward to showing you lots more exciting content created on board the Segway with this setup. I will have a second camera as well somewhere else. I'm still working out exactly what that's going to be. All right, let's go back to the other studio, shall we? Three, two, one, Segway. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. It has been one amazing day. Not only have I been able to segue from A to B, also we've had Visit Victoria in the house selling us to the world, and that is super exciting. We are feeling so privileged and happy to have been selected, shortlisted, to be part of this live stream. So thank you to Visit Victoria. We're here anytime to help each other out. Please let me know what do you think of the Segway 9Bot. It's a lot of fun and I think if you are a photographer like me it could actually help because in the past I've either done it on foot or I've done it on bike and this to me is the happy in between. Plus it's a great commuting vehicle allowing me not to have to spend a cent on parking and this is a whole lot of fun. All right as usual, absolutely fantastic to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again so we can go on more adventures together. So please do subscribe. Please click on the notification bell, share and like. And of course, there's over 300 episodes that you can watch right now, just there. Come visit us in the gallery that you saw before. Visit Victoria, visit Melbourne, and visit Matt Irwin Studio Gallery. Okay. I'll see you super soon. Bye for now.